Hey guys, it's your boy DJ Reminis. Welcome back for another quick tutorial. This one should be fairly quick. Uh, we're just going to talk about bouncing to disc versus printing your final song. So everything is done on this record now. Um, I'm happy with it. I love the way it sounds. Now you got to basically print it or bounce it and send it to your mastering engineer for mastering. Now, most people will just come up here or in your software to go file, bounce to disc, you know, and then boom, print it. Now, I don't do that. And the reason why is um, two things. Now, most, most of you will probably get away with this. Like if you're just doing a quick bounce for whatever, you can probably get away with it. But here's the problem, especially with big sessions, you know, very intense with automation. Um, it takes a lot of CPU uh, to bounce that way. And sometimes automation gets uh, messed up like for example trails of reverbs get messed up um, some stuff gets missing especially in Pro Tools what it does it automatically tries to compensate and redo the automation for you if that sort of makes sense right so I don't prefer to do the file bounce to disk um, what I like to do is actually I create another uh, track which is this one right here the print track and I take my master and feed it into this track and then basically right in here okay so I'll show you what I mean here so as I said um, here's the track right here it's ready to basically record um, I'm happy with the way it is and you know the levels are good I'm hitting you know around minus 3 dB and one thing you really need to check is is your session settings. I do everything in 24, 44, 1. Um, I have no need to do, you know, 96 or whatever it is, 24, 1, 44. So if you look at my L2, basically the last thing on my chain, set to 24 bits, okay? So I'm going to now print the track, which is really straightforward. I've got it armed. And all you do is just hit record. Okay guys, so there's a track right there, uh, which is one that I will give off to the mastering engineer. Now here's a cool thing. Uh, because I've got everything bust, for example, vocals, instrumentals. Now if I just want to just do the vocals, it's just a matter of muting these things, print the vocals, right? Or if I just want to do the instrumentals, just mute the vocals and then print it again. So very versatile, very easy to do. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Please click on the like button if you like what you saw today. Subscribe to the channel. That way stay up to date with the latest and greatest information. Any tips and tutorials that I put up, you'll get notified right away. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys real soon.